you very, was you, what you say, was you deeply, profoundly disappointed in you when you, when you didn't make that team? Is the Detroit Lions a tight? I was, I was disappointed to tears. Let me course. tell you, I'm gonna tell you why you said, you know why you didn't make it one thing? Why? <laughs> Remember you used to ask us to pray for you? That's one time I didn't pray for you. <laughs> <laughs> I won't tell you why, because I didn't want them to break you up. Well. And the only thing I could see and visualize is my boy on the stretch of the first time somebody hits you, carrying you out. Remember you told me when you trained with them somewhat, they found they hit out, I said, well, they naturally be easy on you. I said, well, wait till those opponents come in there. You know what I'm saying? No, I can take it. You know, <laughs> it's, uh, I did good. I went through a month at uh, Eastern Michigan and mm -hmm. they had a pretty, pretty tough bunch of guys up there. And, uh, we hit every day. They really did. They hit you. Yeah. Did you didn't feel they lighting up on you. Well, they, I don't know. <laughs> I didn't get hurt. You know, I had just a normal bump. But you didn't get hurt, you know. But I feel like football is a strange sport. I can play football. I don't. If I can get in shape, with maybe I'm probably too old now. But if I were not too old to play, I have the mentality to play football. I know I do because, you know, whatever whatever deficiencies you may have as an athlete on a football yeah. field, if you use your brains along with your ability, you can generally negate, uh, you know, like if a guy's stronger than you, if you're a little quicker, then you can negate his strength somewhat. And it goes like that. So, you know, I have the mentality to really play the game. That's why I never really got hurt, you know. But I, I could have played. I never forget the day when you left home, you got in that station wagon with Mr. Harvest people. And you, you bumped your knee on the door, you're looking up to tell me goodbye. Mm -hmm. And I went to you goodbye, and that's the, when you left home, and things began to move there. And you went through a period of, I guess, uh, little hardships, which, mm -hmm. is, which is a part of a person's bring them up and, and a part of their, you know, building them up. Mm -hmm. And finally, when you first put out your first record, it seemed to me, I was surprised along the way. I said, here's a dream come true. I had a lot of dreams about you, and I saw it didn't. And then I said, now, here he's doing the very thing that you told me he would do with that form of training. I'll never forget that picture, you getting in that car. You, you, you'll be surprised the feeling the parents have when they see the children leaving, going out in the world, not knowing. And then those days, you know, juvenile delinquency was prevalent all over the nation. And we only thing we can get this feeling, oh, I hope you don't know, do it, go anywhere and get into trouble. So we, we had to live with that. And by you not getting into trouble, that was a great burden off to your mother and our minds and our hearts. And I'm going to give to you now before all these cameras and for these people. I thank you one for myself. As long as I know you have a humble mind and as long as you know there's a God upstairs, you can call on him and respect the people. I thank you a real one for person. I almost, I'm going to give that to you. It's my time. And I'm proud of you. I really am. This is a song about a beautiful little girl. A girl I love. We did it on our album. We thought you'd enjoy it. Thought we'd sing it for you tonight. I don't know how good it's gonna be, but here we go. Genesis, my girl. In all of the world, there's no one sweet. I'll tell you. Genesis, you need one of a kind who says she loves me when she goes to sleep. I kiss her face, think I'm the luckiest man.